Hey guys, it's Linz. So in today's video, it's going to be my Linz loves for October 2014. I hope you guys had a good Halloween. So let's get started. This month's list is I am um, I may go in order, I may not go in order, I'm not sure how it's gonna go, but these are just how I listed my favorites. So um the first topic I am going to talk about is TV shows. I guess that's how I'll order it, like by different like categories and stuff. Um, I'll just find um, the different shows and different favorites in the list for you guys. Well, that's the order it usually goes into. Okay. So, favorite TV shows. Okay, so the first one I see here is if you are Canadian, you will most likely be happy that this show is on if you've ever seen it and you like it a lot. And that is Degrassi, Degr uh, Degrassi and it has a new season. It is season 14. And it has start. Um, it started off with the premiere episode. The premiere episode was really awesome, full of drama, and also s super like intriguing and exciting. So if you guys don't know already, I love Degrassi. So it also premiered this month, by the way. So it premiered last week, so not too long ago, but that was exciting. Okay, my second favorite show is Faking It on MTV. I just really enjoy that show because it is like out of the ordinary and there's lots of stories to be told. Faking It has a lot of stories involved in one show and it just proves that um, you can be accepted and should be accept accepted no matter what place you're in, what, um, what your sexuality is, and they give it like an enjoyable, fun, dramatic, funny, twist to it so um the actors are definitely having a lot of fun doing what they're doing i can tell like shows now these days um for like um most age ranges are um like intriguing enough for pretty much a lot of people to watch it and um, they're super funny and I just really enjoy faking it because the storyline is definitely very um, like you want to keep watching the show because it's so like there's so many stories to like figure out the full like plot and everything and Every episode has like its own um, spin on it, and it could be dramatic, or it could be funny, or it could be um, like loving. It's just really interesting. Um, next favorite show is Manhattan Love Story. One of um, one of the main characters that shows up often. He, um, it's really funny because 
I've like dreamed about him being in a show and he finally is in one that I actually really enjoy and I kind of had a dream about him being in a show like Manhattan Love Story so it's kind of like an awkward transitional love but like kind of something I pictured for him in a dream and he was in um, the movie Aquamarine um, if you guys remember early 2000s and you are a teenager you most likely know my feelings on this and know how I feel but he is awesome and he is definitely man crush worthy okay he is cool um so yeah if I ever um repeat favorites or anything like that if you guys don't know it's because I really enjoy them so yeah um I was about to say faking it so yeah Manhattan love story for sure is a great one to check out if you love these shows that I've been talking about and romance and all that so the second romantic show which is my last show is kind of a um, spin on like uh, the Bachelor series and stuff like that like Bachelor Bachelor Canada Bachelorette and bachelor pad but it's kind of like more intriguing because the storyline isn't super similar for each episode and um, it's kind of more intriguing because it's kind of like a game as well as you're trying to find the one and um, so there you have a hint it is called Are You The One on MTV as well. And backtrack a minute. Um, Manhattan Love Story is on ABC. And Faking It, Are You The One, and Degrassi are on MTV. So Are You The One is like a kind of like loving, romantic, kind of like game show type thing, but it's not really a game show because they just like compete in things, there's like competitions, and you have to find a certain match to see if they are the one in the show, and if you get a match, you are lucky because you get to be with that person. So that gives you an advantage, obviously. And um, so there's competitions, love, and finding the right person. And once you find the right person, I think you get, I think it was a million dollars. It might be less than that. But I think the um, one lucky couple at the end will definitely get a million dollars and kind of like similar to that at the end of the show at the end of the show at the end of the show they try and match up each other and tell the host why they feel like they would match up and choose who they who they really connect with so they choose who they really connect with they lock they lock up in the game and before that, everyone matches up a couple to be a perfect match, and um, so the perfect um, the the perfect match um, that they choose goes into the truth booth, and it's like a, an area that like examines them and. Ex examines who they are and then I guess it examines their chemistry and then they say no match or perfect match and so far there's only been I think one perfect match this season because I think this season 
the season started um, um, recently, so there's only been one perfect match, and so then if they try what um with the matching of all the other people, if there's if there's no match for that one couple though, um they need to try and find someone else and try to be with each other less and then at the end all the couples all together um figure out how many per perfect matches they set each other up with so the host gets to ask the show how many beams of light do we get today and so far they've only gotten I think three at most I think it's been two and three and um sorry there was a kid that like fell in the grass and then I'm just like looking over at him but he's not like upset or anything I hope not <laughs> um but uh yeah if they so they've only gotten at most um three matches so when it comes to the parent, the pairings and all the people together, they need to work harder on finding the right person and finding the actual good connection and chemistry. As you might know, or you can probably tell, I've been wearing a few sweaters in a lot of my videos and recently. And let me tell you, like, sweaters, comfort, big sweaters, leggings, stuff like that has been my favorite. Like big sweaters are my favorite, especially for this month and upcoming. Sweaters are definitely a life set, um, a, a life hack for like winter and fall if you want to stay warm. But, absolute favorite and it is the one from the Beth Bethany Moto's collection and it is the maroon pullover sweater. The maroon one is knitted with no buttons and it's super like cozy and super like blanket feeling and super soft and I think I'm going to wear it in the very new near future soon probably like this week again and so I wore it like just a few weeks ago and so I really recommend sweaters if you really enjoy comfort and sweaters come in all different styles as well so um I just had to mention Beth, Bethany's collection again because of course you guys know even though I don't have a closet full of her collection I still love it and um, like they have stepped up their game Aeropostale has stepped up their game Aero now thank you very much and I'm also very um on a side note, I'm also very excited for the United XL, I think. I don't know, it might just be United, but the the um, um, unisex line by Cameron Dallas, Nash Greer, um, Carter Renner, Re Carter, Carter Reynolds, sorry I don't know him very well. And I think Hayes Greer, Greer, I don't know. Is it Greer or Greer? I don't know. I think it's Greer. Okay, so I think they came up with them and maybe um, Taylor Caniff or something. Um, but yeah, some of those guys came up with a unisex line for Aeropostel. Aeropostale, and I'm kind of interested to check it out. 
because I'm really impressed with what Team Internet is doing all, all day, every day, so I might as well check out that clothing line from Aeropostale 2. So, uh, I'll start off with 1989 by Taylor Swift. I enjoy the whole album. It's very amazing, very heartfelt, and she has done it again. She is chart topping, and she is great. And I am so proud. Nobody, nobody by Ricky Dillon is amazing. If you guys don't already know, it is awesome and I love it. And I'm going a bit faster so I can get it done because I don't know what the battery level is. Oh my gosh. Okay, Sean Mendez. He is awesome. I am so proud of his music. He is so like special and important and um, because he's starting at a great age and he's doing so well already. My last favorite is me. Spotify came to Canada so Spotify is awesome and really enjoyable and the music quality is amazing. I will have my Spotify linked below with my social media as well always linked below so go fo go follow it and go follow my social media please if you would like to that would be awesome you are awesome and I love you you are cool okay okay yeah you are cool <laughs> Thank you Spotify for coming to Canada. Okay, well, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you. My social media is below and I would really appreciate it if you would please subscribe because I will love you even more than you know I do because you are awesome and have a great day. Bye guys.